This video is brought to you by Nike Soccer Camps held at Alvernia University. Join the most winningest coach in Alvernia University men's soccer history along with other high-level coaches and players to receive top-level training and advice that will not only improve your game while you're there, but will also help you in your team and individual training moving forward. Don't miss out on this opportunity. To find out more info and how to sign up, check out the link in the description down below. Let's get into the interview with Casey Moore. Guys, welcome to Simply Soccer. Today, I'm interviewing the head coach of the Alvernia University men's soccer program. He is the most winningest coach in Alvernia University soccer history. He's won two ECAC titles. And today, we're going to be interviewing him, picking his brain, and uh, getting to know what he knows so you guys can learn from him. So. The first question I have for you, Casey, is what is the first thing you look for in a player when you're scouting a high school game, a college showcase, or really any time you're looking at a player at all? Yeah, so the, I mean, th to say one thing would be difficult. We really look for work rate and touch or ball control. So when we're scouting, we want to see how hard a player is working on and off the ball. So defensively, how is that player working to help recover the ball for his team? And then if his team has possession, especially if he's an attack-oriented player, is he moving to find gaps to create space for himself or his teammates? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, touch and ball control is huge. So um, we want technically clean players, so somebody with a good first touch, good overall touch. Um, that just affords you maybe a half second more time when you're playing. Mm -hmm. um, and it also, you know, players that typically have a good touch are, are a bit more confident so those are the the main things yeah. we look for but obviously we look for different things out of different positions so it it kind of varies in terms of that but we, we always want hard-working players but across the board hard work first touch every position always want hard-working players and we want technically sound players so good good touch good control all right so next question i have for you is another one about fundamental skills and it's what do you consider the most important or crucial skill technically so physically that a player can possess and do players that have an advanced um, ability with this skill do they go on to perform better in your team and in other teams that you play against or watch play sure so for us i mean we value that that touch and that control of the ball so um, a player's ability to to control the ball with only one touch and basically set themselves up with that touch to play the ball quickly is really, really important for us. And a lot of that also comes into having an awareness around them mm -hmm. um, with where that ball needs to go during that first touch. I mean, sometimes you want the ball as close to you as possible. Sometimes you want a little bit of a heavier touch to, to get away from a man or to free yourself from a man. To, to get rid of the ball or create some space. So knowing what they're going to do when they get the ball. Yeah, so yeah. It, I mean, there's a lot that gets involved in having a first touch and having a good first touch. I mean, clearly if you can if you can control the ball close to your body, you'll probably be a pretty good player. But when, when you move up the ranks, um, if you can only control by your body, you're going to get really heavily pressured. So sometimes your touches have to take you away from that pressure into the space or... So all forms of ball control need to be at yep. least proficient at the Yeah, state. definitely yeah. ball control and, and the awareness of where your touches need to be and how you want to take them, like letting the ball come across your body so you're open to play, mm -hmm. you know, see the full field. Um, but, you know, we, we highly value the, the first touch and control of the ball. Yeah. All right, so next question is a huge one because I've obviously gone through this a little bit and I know I know a bit about this because I've had low confidence before so how important is it for a player to have a strong mental attributes in the college game and out of all mental attributes what would you consider the most crucial well I mean having a, a strong mental side to your game is very very important no matter no matter what you're involved in but mm -hmm. any type of athletic field you need that mental side along with obviously the physical um, so what I would say is mental toughness is huge and then confidence slash belief or confidence and belief in, in you, yourself, but also in your teammates. Mm -hmm. So the mental side, I mean, 90 minutes of, of soccer is gonna be different basically every game, but things that are pretty much guaranteed is mistakes are gonna happen and yes. certain negative situations are gonna come up. So how you react to those situations individually is really crucial. Mm -hmm. if, if you're down, uh, you put your head down, you, you become negative, you become 
you know, so upset with yourself that it takes you out of what you do or what your team needs to be doing, um, then it's really going to affect your team. So being mentally tough to overcome that, to get over mistakes, move on, stay focused um, is really, really important. And confidence and belief basically funnel right into that as yeah. well. I mean, those are a part of that, but staying confident, you know, knowing you're on this team or on the field because, you know, for certain reasons and because you're a good player. Um, so don't let those bad thoughts creep into your mind or don't let a mistake that you just made take you out of your game. Um, and, you know, and you mentioned yourself, you know, back when you were here, you, you'd miss a shot and you'd be, you know, saying bad things about yourself to yourself under your breath. And I, I know, <laughs> you know, from my standpoint, I'm trying to pump you with confidence and try to, you know, fill you up with all the things you can do. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I remember the difference when, and when I'm winning confidence. Yeah. When you, you know, truly kind of just got over bad things quickly and stayed confident in what you knew you could do. Mm you were scoring a goal a game. And yeah. it, it, it makes a huge difference. It's and gigantic, yeah. Um, and even even the, the pros struggle with confidence. Yeah, we see uh, the know. best players in the world go through goal droughts yep. or bad patches. And a time. lot of dips in form aren't, you know, they're not down to the player's ability because you know what the player's capable of, but it's more the mental side of things where their thoughts are kind of consuming them yeah. and making their confidence and belief in themselves kind of drop down. Absolutely, yeah. So. Remember that, guys, mental side is huge. All right, so next question is kind of another one that's about the mental side, the, the attitude that a player needs to have. So what type of attitude um, do you as a coach expect from a player, or what is the perfect attitude for a player to have if he wants to succeed in your program and you know, be one of those players that you can rely on? The perfect attitude is tough to describe, but I would say, I mean, you, you definitely want, again, we've touched upon people being hardworking. I mean, they have to be hardworking. They have to be coachable. And yeah. um, that's that means basically willing to take criticism slash advice from a coach, understand, understand it, comprehend it, but then apply it um, to better themselves, to, to give the team a better chance to be successful. Um, you know, positive with their energy and their attitude. Um, you know, so many things are going to be, you know, against you or so many negative things could creep into your head, kind of like that along the lines of the mental, the mental stages that we talked about earlier. Just being positive, staying positive, working hard um, and, um, you know, th those are the main, <laughs> those are the, yeah, no, those those are the, are the main, main ones. I mean, we can I touch upon uh, the uh, biggest. One I don't I know if we've ever had tr truly anyone with the, the perfect, perfect attributes. attributes but, yeah. um, I don't think that player really exists. But the coachable one kind of stood out to me is like being someone who's willing to learn and comes in and apply the advice a coach gives you. Because, I mean, you're here to help the player improve. You want the player to, right. you know, play better for your team, you know, have more of an impact. So, you know, not to take it as necessarily someone attacking you but trying to help you better your game yeah they just have to be open to coaching i mean a lot of things that you could have done in high school and club you can't just yeah. come in and do those things right away at the college game like uh the the biggest one we see is forwards in high school scored this many goals and almost all those goals came by a team just kicking a long ball and that forward just running and finishing so a lot of that play is, is kind of squashed out in college. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of very good team defending and a lot of more higher pressure that eliminates some of those long balls and um, those goals don't come about nearly as, as frequently as they would in, in high school. So, um, But you know, those attributes are, are what we really like to see in our players and what we try to, to build throughout our culture so guys kind of know what to expect and they always know to work as hard as they can and be positive about what's going on even if even if things aren't necessarily going their way or the team's way.
Okay. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that. To find out more about the Alvernia University men's soccer program, check out the link down in the description. Also, check out the Nike ID camp they do here at Alvernia. That'll be down there below. It's going to be great for any of you who are interested in playing at the college level, getting coached by college level coaches, the most winningest coach in Alvernia's history. So go check that out, and I'll see you in the next video. Ha, ha, ha.